Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night from where or when you're watching this video. This is John from IT Skills Academy. I take this opportunity to welcome you to IT Skills Academy. If it is Tuesday, you know it is Tutorial Tuesday. And today, we continue to create a pharmacy management system. And this is episode 14. If you'd like a demo of the whole project, click this card. For source code, please find a link in the description of this video. And before I forget, I would like to thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it. If you're watching this and you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell for video updates. That out of the way, let's get started. But first, we'll load the intro, shall we? Well, in this episode, we'll be issuing a medicine to our clients. And so to be able to do that, I'm creating a page called sales.php. So I click on a new file and then I create the page sales.php. And oh, wait a minute. And to save time, what I'm doing is uh, I'll be using the uh, template down here. And then we'll be editing the template. Don't worry, I'll be showing you how the template looks like and we'll be editing it with you step by step. This is just to save time. So I open the template, I copy it, I move to the sales page, the page that you've just created, and then I paste the code of the template. As you can see, this is just an empty page. In fact, this is just a structure. So we start by editing it here. So I call it sales page. And I can also create a breadcrumb here. So this will be a home and then sales page. Great. So let's refresh and see how that looks like. So we are getting back to the uh, prescription of the issue medicine page. And then I click on the issue medicine. So, oh this takes us here but we have a problem we need to pick some ids so we get back to the patient's particulars we pick the medicine that we want to prescribe and then we add the quantity and we issue the medicine so this will take us to the sales page as you can see this is just an empty page so first of all what we want to do is we want to insert the medicine prescribed details into the database well, earlier we created a page called post.php and in this page we have uh, the uh, patient's particulars and uh, the information of the medicine prescribed. So we have this in a form and as you can see we have uh, the uh, medicine name uh, input, we have uh, the price, we have the available quantity and we have the quantity. So to enable us to pick uh, this information and insert it into the database, uh, we are creating a name is equal to medicine name. This will help us to pick uh, the name of the medicine prescribed to the specific patient. We also want to get the price of uh, the uh, drug, so we are creating the name is equal to price. And down here we also want to get the available quantity so that we can uh, be able to subtract this from the database. So we create um, here a name uh, called uh, pharmacy quantity but we'll do that later so first of all we create a name is equals to quantity this will help us to pick the uh, quantity of the medicine prescribed to the patient We'll also have some various hidden inputs here. This is just to help us to uh, collect all the information that we want, but we don't want to show it in this form. So this will include uh, capacity. So this is the capacity of the medicine prescribed, whether it is 60 ml, 50 mg, or whatever. And we will also have the expiry date of the prescribed medicine. This will also be a hidden input as well. So we have the capacity, we have the expiry date, we have the quantity, 
um, we also have uh, the price uh, we also have the medicine name so this is the information that we want to insert into the database so to be able to do that we also need to have uh, this button uh, having the type uh, submit as well as having the name is equals to submit this is just to make it uh, post the information uh, through the post method or pass the information through the post method so I'm just uh, creating a few links here so that you can see the button clearly yeah so that looks nice so we get back to the cells and here uh, we're getting to the very top of this page here because this way we want to have the PHP script that will help us to insert the information corrected into the database so to do that we are using the if statement so we say if is set uh, the post method the submit button that is if the submit button is clicked what should happen so within here first of all we want to echo and see if the button is working properly so I echo I was correct yeah this is just to test the button so we get back here so we want to just uh, click the issue medicine button so we get to the medicine we prescribe a medicine we click next and uh, we click on issue medicine and uh, yeah cannot see it now so we just uh, restore the page and as you can see we have uh, the hours clicked that means the button is working correctly so i just comment this out and now we can continue to uh, correct the information or the data that we want here so we'll just uh, create some variables and then store the information corrected through the post method so that will be the medicine name uh, the capacity the expiry date the, all that oh and we also need an extra one here so let me just come and add it here that will be the medicine id we want to be able to correct the medicine id so to be able to do that i will also echo the medicine id here so i'm creating a value and setting it to equal to uh, php echo id so this will help me to uh, capture the uh, medicine id uh, this uh, will also happen with uh, the capacity i also want to pick the capacity of the medicine so i create a value and set it to equal to php echo capacity and this is the same with expiry date so if i didn't do this if i if we didn't do this then it means we will not be able to pick the capacity the expiry date and the id of the medicine prescribed to the patient all right so that out of the way And so i'm getting back to the sales.php and so we can continue uh, creating the variables and we want to store uh, the information collected from uh, the form in the various variables so that we can be able to insert it into the database so i'm saying uh, variable id is equals to uh, post id and because we want several uh, information we'll uh, duplicate this and then we just edit it so we also want to get the patient name uh, so i'm saying variable patient name store it with the patient name collected from the uh, form using the post method the patient number as well and the deal uh, continues so pharmacy uh, quantity so this means that we need to have a name in the pharmacy quantity input to enable us to pick this so yeah i just made a mistake here i deleted it and uh, we'll be correcting it later because we need this to be able to um, subtract the quantity issued to the client uh, from the pharmacy stock so uh, we're also correcting the uh, medicine name issued to this uh, client um out, i also had invoice but i decided to get rid of it uh, you can have it if you wish uh, this is just the uh, invoice of the sale that you're making um, so we also have the quantity so this is the quantity of uh, the medicine prescribed and uh, the uh, price 
Uh, so before we insert this into the database, uh, we would like to first of all see if we are getting the information from the form. So I'm just echoing uh, the various uh, variables to see if uh, they have any information stored before we insert it into the database. So I'm just duplicating this here because I want to echo all the uh, variables that we have created. And so the first one will be ID, the second one will be the patient name. Loops, we have an extra one here. So I'm just going to get rid of this. So that will be patient number. So here we are getting, uh, or we should have the medicine name uh, prescribed to the client, and uh, this should be the invoice. Uh, that will give us an error. I'll erase that later. So we'll be getting rid of uh, the invoice for now. We also want to get the price of the medicine prescribed, and uh, we also want to have uh, the quantity as well so quantity and uh, that's all for now so let's see if we can be able to get that from the form right so that looks good so we get the browser get back and we also want to pick the medicine so we are getting back to the add medicine prescribed we pick the medicine we add the quantity and then we issue medicine and uh, we are having a problem uh, as i had uh, earlier mentioned uh, we don't have the invoice and the pharmacy quantity uh, so we need to collect that so let me get back to the sales.php we first of all get rid of this but We'll be having it back there so i'm getting back here and um, we want to issue and see if the problem is fixed uh, but wait a minute yeah we also want to first of all get rid of the uh, invoice because we don't have it in the post dot uh, php we don't have it in this form anywhere so we also get rid of it from down here so now we can uh, get to the browser and uh, try to issue the medicine yeah and now as you can see we are collecting that information successfully but uh, wait a minute, uh, we don't want to have the medicine like this because here we are having the medicine name, uh, the uh, quantity uh, or the capacity and the expiry date. But we don't want that. So um, what we are going to do is um, we are going to remove the name um, medicine name from this input on top here and uh, we are going to have it in a hidden uh, input so i will just duplicate this and have this with medicine uh, id or oh, sorry like that medicine name uh, so the name should be medicine name here so uh, and then i'll get rid of this because in this we have uh, the medicine uh, particulars or information we have the medicine name we have the capacity and the expiry date but we, won't, we don't want to pick it like that we just want the medicine name when we're inserting it into the database so we don't want it like this we just want to have the name like brufen so um having it like that we can now try to pick a different or prescribe a different uh, uh, medicine and see if that will work so i get back and i pick a different uh, medicine I pick or click next yeah so here we have uh, the uh, information so i add the quantity and then i say issue medicine yeah and this is how we want it so we have the period on there we have the patient number we have the uh, patient name and the quantity and the price all right so 
that out of the way then it means that everything is working properly and we also have the medicine id uh, being the first one there the two so uh, that's now being done we can just get rid of that and so i just want to show you the database where we'll be inserting this information okay so uh, first of all what we are going to do here to be able to insert the information into the database is we are going to require the connection to the database so uh, we have a file called con.php if you can remember us creating that in the very uh, first uh, videos or episodes of these uh, series so um, we have the con inside the include uh, so we will have that required in this page and so now before we insert this into database we want to be able to uh, have the new pharmacy quantity now that we have prescribed uh, the drug we want to subtract it from the pharmacy so what we'll be doing is um, We'll be creating a variable called new quantity, and um, uh, here we'll be installing the uh, balance. So the balance will be pharmacy quantity minus the quantity prescribed. So it means that on top here we need to have the pharmacy quantity. So I'll duplicate this, and uh, I'll have the pharmacy quantity here. This one we should correct it from uh, the uh, post.php so in the form that we have in the post.php so here we should have a name so name is equals to pharmacy uh, quantity so this will uh, help us to have uh, the uh, quantity or the current quantity of uh, the prescribed medicine so this is being picked from the database so um, so we will be having it there so um, the results of the pharmacy quantity minus the prescribed quantity will be stored in a variable called a new quantity and so we'll be updating the pharmacy quantity uh, with that value so uh, the other thing is uh, Yeah, we want to be able to get uh, the uh, total of uh, the um, drugs uh, prescribed. So like uh, based on the quantity of the drugs prescribed, uh, what's the price? Uh, yeah, so like uh, how much are you expected to pay? So we'll be doing this by uh, multiplying the quantity uh, by price and we'll be storing this in a variable called amount. And so we want to be able to see if we can be able to have this information so we are calling the new quantity and as well we'll also be echoing the amount but first of all we echo a blank here and so after that we echo the uh, amount so the amount is uh, the um, price of uh, the drug prescribed based on the quantity And so here I'm refreshing the page and we are getting back uh, to the post.php uh, page. Uh, uh, so we just add some quantity and so we issue the medicine. And oops, we have a problem with the path uh, of the con.php. So let's try to fix that. Oh, sorry, we have that in the long place. So we should not have it there. So we are still going to get the error. I should have uh, fixed that on the con.php, not the head.php. So uh, let me collect that. So this one should be here. So this should be like it was. So it includes, yeah, head. So um, so this is the collect path. So if I get back here and refresh the page, everything should be working fine yes but we still have the pharmacy quantity 
all right so we need to fix this error uh, undefined idex a pharmacy quantity that means we are not able to get the pharmacy quantity uh, okay let's see what could be the problem uh, i'll just copy these and um, have it here just in case we are having a typo somewhere all right let me just uh, pick the medicine again uh, yeah so i add the quantity put two issue the medicine yeah and everything now is working fine so we have uh, the uh, amount and the quantity so the amount is 17 or rather the new quantity is 17 and the amount is uh, uh, 60. so we can also try with another one so that is uh, the period the brufen so we say next the current or the available quantity is 19 we issue two or rather three and then we issue that uh, so as you can now see uh, it is 19 minus 3 it's 16 and we also have the 90 uh, being the total amount expected to be paid so uh, now looks like everything is working fine so I can just get rid of this so we can continue yeah so feel free to ask uh, any questions in the comment section below I'll be more than ready to uh, help you with anything and uh, if uh, you would like the source code to the whole of this project can you find it in the description of this video yeah and i also have a full video showing you how you can be able to install it in your computer so you can also get the link in the description of this video all right so we continue and uh, what we are doing right now is to check if the pharmacy is stocked with the medicine that we are prescribing because we cannot prescribe uh, medicine that is out of stock so we want to be able to tell the uh, use of the system that the medicine that you're prescribing if is out of uh, stock that is if it is but if it is not then uh, we can continue to issue the uh, medicine prescribed so here what we are saying is we are creating a variable or what we are doing is we are creating an if statement rather uh, where we will be checking if uh, the pharmacy uh, quantity is less than or equal to zero So if the pharmacy uh, quantity is less than or equal to zero, it means we don't have that specific medicine in our store. And so we are creating a session here called out of stock. So we'll be having this uh, message appearing on the screen once the uh, once one tries to issue the medicine that is out of stock. So we are creating a div here and giving it a class of alert alert danger yeah so we are at, are at danger and uh, the message will be what so we will be having that within the div uh, inside here so um, the medicine will be the uh, medicine is out of stock Alright, so that is a message that we will be fixing it later. We will not be showing it in this episode, but we will be fixing it later. So, yeah. Um, so that will be on which page. So we we'll create a header and having it and have it with the location um, checkout uh, dot uh, php. So this is a page that we have not yet created, but we will be creating it in our next uh, episode. Yeah, so uh, we have checked that that is if the pharmacy is stocked with the medicine that we are prescribing and just before i forget we'll start the session here so session underscore start yeah so you're yeah, good okay so now uh, moving on uh, to the next uh, thing Um, we'll also uh, have another session here because we want to be able to have the patient uh, number 
yeah this will be a code on the checkout.php uh, so here we are uh, having uh, the patient number that we collected from the post method or using the post method rather and then after that you just um, exit to terminate that yes so great so now after that we want to check if uh, the medicine prescribed um, exit uh, the amount available so if say for example we have uh, 10 uh, tablets but you issue 20 so that's again uh, a quantity that exists what we have in the uh, stock so uh, here we are going to use the else if uh, the else if uh, the pharmacy quantity is less than the available quantity okay, so this, this this should be what uh, the pharmacy quantity is greater than Pharmacy quantity. Yeah, that's correct. The pharmacy quantity is less than uh, the uh, quantity prescribed. So um, we'll be creating a session here, or we are creating a session here uh, called uh, stock exit. And uh, the message that will be echoed uh, here will be uh, the quantity requested exists the pharmacy stock available. right so that will be on which page again uh, the location will be checkout.php again as i've mentioned this is a page that we have not created but we'll be creating it in our next episode so after that we terminate that so exit <laughs> great so again we say else if and uh, with this uh, the condition will be the pharmacy uh, quantity is uh, greater than zero so if it is greater than zero then it gives us the green light to continue uh, this means that uh, the uh, medicine prescribed is uh, in stock uh, and in the available uh, uh, quantity uh, set so um, uh, so what we are doing here is we want now to insert the information of uh, the uh, medicine prescribed into the database so we are creating uh, a variable called sql and we are writing the insert statement that is insert into sales order and uh, we are setting the uh, columns of this page uh, with uh, the uh, variables that is or are storing the information that we want inserted into the database so we are duplicating that so the first will be quantity and uh, the uh, second one will be price so we are setting the price to be equal to the um, variable price that is storing the price of the medicine prescribed uh, similarly we are also having the patient name uh, being set to the patient or the variable patient name the medicine name as well as well as the uh, and the medicine id we also want to get the id of the medicine as well and have it inserted into the database so the id that we have on top there uh, we'll also have as well the amount remember we are having the amount being uh, the price of the drugs prescribed and uh, as well as uh, the patient id yeah so we can insert as uh, we can insert more information if we need uh, to but for this case we just having that so if need be we'll be adding more so now down here we are creating a variable called results and uh, so we are setting it to equal to mysqli uh, query 
So we are testing the database connection and also whether the information was inserted into the uh, database. And so we are saying if res is equals equals true, uh, what should happen here? So what should be the code? So if that is successful, um, we'll be creating a session uh, called session uh, patient um, session patient, and that will be equal to uh, the patient uh, ID or the patient number. So we need this for the purpose of showing the current the uh, information and the medicine uh, prescribed. Alright, so the last thing that we are going to do here is to update the pharmacy stock. So we are creating a new uh, statement and we are having it with the condition of if the pharmacy quantity is greater than zero, then it means that uh, we were able to successfully um, prescribe the medicine. And so now we want to update the stock with a new quantity. So we are creating a variable called SQL2 and writing the update uh, statement so where we are updating the pharmacy stock and setting the pharmacy quantity to uh, the new quantity so the new quantity remember is the um, a result of uh, the pharmacy quantity uh, minus the quantity so what we had on top here all right so uh, and this is where the uh, id is equals to uh, the medicine id so we should only update that specific uh, medicine so we should have it uh, or have its id so where the id is equals to variable id so this should be in single quotes else hmm, it will give you problems all right so that out of the way now we can uh, uh, create the uh, results uh, variable and uh, as usual it will be a mysqli query and the parameters will be con and sql2 we terminate that now with that we are able or we expect that the data should be inserted into the database so we um, add the quantity there and then we say issue medicine and uh, we are getting on to the database uh, we try to refresh the sales order to see if we have any and as you can see the information is successfully inserted into the sales order and we also want to check if uh, the uh, pharmacy stock was updated. Uh, so this should be um, yeah, 18 because previously it was 19. Yeah, let's do that once again. So uh, we refresh that, we pick a different, uh, or we just pick the Brufen, the current stock is 18. And then we try to issue uh, two and then we issue medicine so we try to refresh and see if that was updated as we would expect and yeah that is uh, updated the stock is now 16 and if we get the sales order we should get the information as well yeah there. great Alright, so now how I have it is that uh, before uh, the 
current is issued with uh, the receipt of the medicine uh, he or she has bought um, we should first of all have someone confirm this and so in this sales.php we are calling uh, the uh, information of uh, the prescribed uh, medicine uh, that should be confirmed by someone and upon confirmation uh, the uh, client or the patient is issued with a receipt of what he or she has bought so um, here I'm creating a card within which we are going to have uh, the information uh, so but before that we will be creating two buttons here uh, one is uh, the one that can be used to add more or prescribe more or medicine and uh, the other one on the right is uh, the one that should be clicked to um, yeah be able to uh, print or get a receipt of uh, the medicine port so um i'm having it in that variable uh, that will have a class of or rather this should be alignment it should be aligned to the right and left yeah so this is what i meant here uh only that uh, i'm used to the class and so i just wrote it as a class so in your case just have it as a line is equals right and a line is equals to left respectively so this is just to have the buttons on the right and the left side of the card yeah, as you can see that one gives me a problem there so i need to fix that so um yeah also this one should be call uh, 12 yeah so but we should make it like that and uh, now I'll fix the alignment here. Yeah, it took me time to, to notice that. So yeah, a line is equals to left and uh, a line is equals to right. Oh, I forgot to have right there. So we sh still have them on the left. Anyway. So this one should be right. Yeah, just like that. So um and uh, we should maybe change the color of one of them so this one maybe you can have it with green yeah btn btn success that will give it a green background color all right so moving on to the next um, um i want to have another column here so i'm having a, a call uh, md12 and uh, in this column we'll also have a low and within this row now we are going to have uh, the um, input or the form input yeah because okay first of all what we want to have here if i may just explain is uh, the uh, patient uh, that we are working on uh, we want to have the patient's particulars here or details rather yeah so it's just to yeah, help us understand uh, the, the, the card that we are serving or the patient that we are currently uh, issuing the drugs yeah so this option we can have it or you can uh, decide to have it or not to have it so yeah just decided to have it there yeah i don't know whether it's important or not so um so it is a, a column called um, or having a class of form group we are having a label yeah so this will store the patient name yeah and below that we'll have the input uh, of course having the type of text and uh, having a class of form control yeah that tells you that we're using bootstrap or is it remind you yeah so uh i will also have it as read only because yeah i don't need someone to edit it from this point so um, having it with read only yeah so this again up to you so in my case i just decided to have it with read only yeah so i need several of these so um and one thing that i uh, forgot here is we should also have it with uh, a class of call uh md something that like call md5 call md3 yeah we'll be fixing it uh, in a moment so yeah this will give us a this will give us an error uh, so if i refresh this 
yeah we're going to have it like that which is not what we want so um let us fix that and uh, to fix that in this div that has a class of form group we'll uh, add another class called uh, yeah, call md uh, five call md3 and call md3 so th this is just to um have it with uh, columns because as as it is it is not in columns so um and that's why it is appearing as one full uh, quorum uh, so uh, we're going to have call in the very first uh, uh, div here so in the very first div contain here we're going to have the call md5 and um, similarly we should also have the same on the other columns so uh, we're going to fix that so I copy that and uh, paste it here yeah and again they should not all be equal so yeah you should have five maybe and three and three yeah don't forget on the patient details uh, column as well that that should be 12 so when I refresh this is what we have yeah so far so good but we need to fix this this should be three and uh, this should be three yeah just to have them fit that area because they can yeah just like that that's that 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 looks good all right so in that we will be calling the patient details but well we are not going to do it in this episode we'll be doing it in our next episode so in this we're just creating the um, the, the html part of it so now after that we want to have the patient uh, particulars or rather the medicine details we have uh, fixed the patient details or particulars so now next we want to have the medicine prescribed to this specific client whose uh, uh, personal information appears on top and uh, we're going to have these in a table so uh, first of all i'm creating a container here container fluid uh, so yes uh, yes yet another container and uh, within that we're having uh, a law and uh, we're going to have uh, the uh, quorum uh, in that and uh, we're going to have the call 12 that means it will span the whole of that uh, container and within that we're going to have a card so it means that our table will be within a card so we also having the card body and uh, uh, this one should be a call md12 instead of card md12 don't think we have anything like that okay so um, now within that yeah forgot to fix that so within that we're going to have a low and uh, yeah we just want to have the heading there uh, so medicine details or let me just make it more um, precise so I say prescribed medicine details yeah mm, think that makes more sense yeah, so we're going to have that in the table as I've mentioned so we are creating another div here with a class of table responsive and then within that we're having the class so the class will have uh, or rather the table will have a class of table so that can twist yeah so um, and also table uh, border yeah so that means uh, we are having the table with some borders yeah, around it yeah and uh, it will also have an id of uh, uh, crude table you can have it within a name we'll be using that later in our next episode to insert the information into the database all right so now within our table of course we're going to have the table rows and the columns so we'll have the tl for the table rows and now the headings uh, so we want to have several of these so we'll have the patient name and uh, we we'll also want to define the width of this uh, column so yeah we give it 30 percent yeah. 
and then we want several of these so we duplicate duplicate that uh, so other than the patient name we also want to get the what the medicine name yeah Uh, the capacity and the price yeah, and uh, not forgetting the medicine quantity yeah I think this should come first yeah before the price yeah somewhere there And so now after that we also want to have the table columns so we're going to create another row and have at least uh, five uh, columns and uh, for now we're just going to have some dummy uh, data here we'll be fixing this in our next episode because yeah the video is getting quite long so we're just having some dummy data here that we'll fix in our next episode with the real data from the database right yeah so um, we can check how that looks like shall we so I refresh the database and yeah cool this is what we have yeah so um, the next thing that we want to do is to have the total yeah so uh, because this table will be holding all the medicine prescribed and so down there we may want to get the total uh the the current is expected to pay so we are creating a div uh, and uh, we are having it aligned to the content being aligned to the right and that will be total and we'll also be fixing the total later yeah we can have this in a h4 just to make it more appealing or is it visible yeah. And then after that down there we are going to have a button yeah this is the button that will be smashed to enter the data into the database so to be having the type uh, submit yeah we're going to fix that later let's just have the html part for now so the class will be btn btn success and uh, this should be block so i have it with the class btn block so I refresh that page and that's what we have yeah so um, we're going to add the video at that point uh, so in our next episode that is episode 15 uh, we will pick from where we have left and um, I hope that will be okay with you so if you have any questions uh, kindly uh, read them in the comment section below and if you would like to have uh, the uh, source code to this uh, whole project uh, find the link in the description of this video and if you have problems yeah, installing the project i have created a full video that shows you how you can be able to install this uh, project in your machine step by step yeah so um, find the link in this card that is appearing on top here and you can also find it in the description of this video yeah so it shows you how you can be able to do it step by step yeah so uh see you in the next one yeah thanks for watching